I'm uh, Carl Borquist, President and CEO of Absaroka Energy. Welcome to the middle of Montana, uh, to Gordon Butte, uh, the site of our pump storage development, which I'm going to talk about. Um, let me just point out, in the background, this is the Gordon Butte Wind Farm. Uh, personally, this was my start in energy development uh, back uh, about 10 years ago. And uh, that morphed into this uh, company, Absaroka Energy, and this particular development I want to talk to you about today, Gordon Butte. Uh, so let's take a tour. I'm standing here in the middle of the upper reservoir, and I've picked this location because we've done a bore. Uh, boring here. This will be the place that we start to create the penstock and the hydraulic connection between what will be the upper reservoir and the lower reservoir. That's a 20 foot diameter pipe, concrete and steel lined. And when we're storing energy and pulling electrons off the grid, water will come up that pipe and reside in this upper reservoir when we need to produce energy and we can do that switch in seconds, uh, we will release water down the penstock through the turbine and the motor generator um, and produce el electrons that we will push off to the grid. Um, this geography up here, we're going to use the high points, uh, fill those in, line this uh, so that the water we uh, put into the project will be used just for uh, moving uh, back and forth and being the storage medium for our very large battery. So listen, there's an engineering magic to this site and you don't really sense it till you get up here and you see just how much elevation gain was created in a short throw. And if you think back on the penstock, uh, that's a very expensive part of the project and so the fact that our reservoirs essentially will be stacked uh, so close together and on top of one another creates uh, cost benefit for the project that uh, can't be understated. Um, you can see if you look down here, uh, we're going to put the lower reservoir into these two ravines. Uh, when you drive by this on the highway, you will not see anything. The power station sunk, uh, it's about a football field and a half, sunk 200 feet in the ground. All of the equipment will be uh, in that power station under the ground. Um, with this underground hydraulic connection between the upper and lower reservoir that are closed. It's about a uh, little over 400, about 403 megawatts, and the project will be able to produce at 400 megawatts for eight and a half hours. To give you some sense of the magnitude of this project, this project alone would be equivalent to, or just a little bit more than all of the hydro that Northwestern currently owns and operates as Runner River Hydro. But the most important part of this is it's a cheap battery. Uh, pump storage is considered the least expensive, most reliable, most financeable uh, storage you can buy. And by providing bulk storage for the region, uh, we're going to be able to make this help make this transition from uh, our generation fleet to more renewables in a cost-effective manner. And that's something I'm really excited about because this grid that we've created, um, it's a lot of infrastructure, it's a lot of investment. Um, for most Montanans and most people in the region, uh, the notion of cutting ties with the grid is just not financially feasible, um, not possible. So the idea that we could help provide a clean, low-cost solution for integrating all this disparate energy uh, is what gets us up every morning and gets us trying to push this project across the finish line. The other thing is the coal strip line is on this ranch and five miles behind our power station and that hooks us into the backbone of the Northwest Grid. It gives us access and the opportunity to provide services to all of the major coal strip utilities, including Northwestern, 
all of whom are trying to integrate more renewables and keep all of those renewables balanced. And it's important to remember that uh, our duty uh, is really to just take that uh, variable energy, all of it, and make it reliable and sort of baseload power. Um, that creates opportunity in cost and jobs and uh, for our region to export uh, energy and continue to export energy out of the state. We, we went in to a public water permitting process. Um, and here we are in the Muscle Shell Valley. We were able to get through that without any objections or even questions. We did that because we crafted our application and restrictions very carefully and voluntarily limited our ability to take water out of the system uh, during the spring runoff. And there was a lot of discussion about how, what is the spring runoff, how do we know that the runoff is occurring. So if you look at our water permit, all of that's been sort of specked out and sideboarded so that we know we'll be taking water when the system's full and, and others are not irrigating. Uh, we don't want to compete and don't need to compete with irrigation. We want to take it when it's a nuisance and taking a little bit out um, is helpful. So the project uh, is about two miles west of the town of Martinsdale. Um, we've got the population of Martinsdale somewhere between 40 and 60. Um, it's a very quaint little town uh, in the middle of Montana, but uh, over the last 20 or 30 years, a lot of the businesses and infrastructure that supported the town um, have kind of dried up. Uh, we're excited about, you know, bringing a gas station and a grocery store uh, to the community, which um, when you're this far out is a big deal. And the other thing, um, my Borquist men were all union members and construction people, and um, I've got a particular fondness for workers and um, have made a pledge that the project will be a union project. That's a commitment I've made in public uh, many times, um, one with Barnard Construction and the governor and, and around the state. So we're, we're committed to this being, a, uh, to the extent that the unions are interested in a union job and um, creating opportunity for workers and for this town. In addition to the permanent staff, we'll have a lot of uh, technicians and equipment and um, uh, others coming into the plant to keep it maintained and operating efficiently. This project for me has felt like the culmination of a lot of the things I've done in my life. Um, I'm really proud of this because I think energy and food are obviously so essential and the notion that I and my little band of merry men and women could be a part of um, ushering this state and community that I'm so proud of into the next generation and the next century uh, is exciting for me. It's exciting for my kids um, and I'm, I really feel a lot of pride for what we're trying to do and how we're trying to do it.